What's up? Today, well, it's Graphite Central, and today we're going to be learning about the back button on the iOS.2 settings little bar over there that you can see right now. It's right there. So, we're going to get started. Go File, New, and I'm just going to go off for 500 by 500 since it's easier. And press OK. Now, what I'm going to do is go on to the rectangular, rounded rectangle tool and then go on the radius of 10. Make a shape that you think might look like that button, so I'm just going to go like that. Now this is kind of like an interesting but hard part for me, so you just go on shift and try find the middle of the shape. It just snaps to it for me, so right there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there. And um, I'm going to go on this tool right here. My mouse will right be there, well here. It's like a little wavy mouse thing, white, half white, half black, direct selection tool. And then what you're going to do is just click on this shape. Just click on it right on this like line. And cl um, click on the second one that's right here, that one, on to that ruler. So just right there. And then get the other one that's on the second line and just put it. There we go, we've already done that part. Now I'm just going to get rid of that ruler. It might not look great, but I'm just rushing it at the moment. But you guys can perfect it soon. I'm just going to rasterize that layer. And now you guys are going to copy these things. I'm just going to go on blending options. I already have a style ready for it, so I'm just going to show you guys the things. Now the drop shadow is... Um, the blend mode is at normal. The color is at 8, 0, A, 1, B, 8. And the distance is at 2. The angle is at 90 degrees. Spread is at 0. Size is at 1. And then go on inner shadow. Blending mode is at multiply. The color is at black. Opacity, 30%. Distance, 2. And the others are 0. Outer, I mean, gradient overlay. The first part is 4, 1, 5, C, 7, 6. Now you're going to make another point right there. Just go double click on there. No, that's 4, 4, 5, F, 7, 9. The other one is 4, E, 6, A, 8, 6. And the other one is 6, 5, 8, 6, A, 5. Now press OK. There we go, we already have it done. There is the iOS button. I'm just going to make it smaller, it looks kind of big. And then I'm just going to go on to the set, um, tools. I'm going to write like t settings. I'm going to write... I'm just going to get in white right here. And then just come on to it and you know just size it. Make sure it's in the middle right there like that. Just gonna move it around a bit until I kinda get the right size. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um it's really simple. I'm not perfect at it, but I hope you enjoyed. Well, see you guys.